Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a different take on the Locomoco. For those of you who don't know what it is, it is a fried egg over a hamburger patty over rice covered in gravy. And here's a preview of my version for you all. So I want to make gravy balls that pop in your mouth. In order to do this, I'll be using a process called reverse verification. There's an excellent tutorial of this on the Chef Steps YouTube channel, link down below. To start, I'll be using 2% by mass calcium lactate and mixing that into the gravy. Because gravy has a lot of oil, we need to put our mix in the fridge for a bit so it can harden up before we make the spheres. So we'll come back to this later. Now that our gravy is chilling in the fridge, let's start on our patties. First, we're going to brown some onions to add to our hamburger mixture. I'm using about a quarter of an onion here just because I have about a pound of hamburger meat. After these onions brown, we're going to set it aside and let them cool off. So for the hamburger, you can honestly use any recipe you want. This is the one I like to use. So the onions are already in the bowl, they've cooled down. We're going to add about a pound of ground beef and egg. We're going to toss in about half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. A teaspoon of salt. Just a splash of Worcestershire sauce. I actually have no idea to pronounce it, please forgive me. And then we're gonna put in about half a cup of panko or breadcrumbs. And lastly, a tablespoon of milk. So we'll give that a really good mix real quick and start forming our patties. So forming the patties is really easy. Just pinch off the amount of meat you want and form a ball. Then toss the ball between your hands. This gets out all the air to prevent cracking when we're cooking the patties. And then once that's done, press the ball flat and you're good to go. So after we're done forming our patties, we're gonna to toss a pan on about medium high heat with a little bit of olive oil. And we're just gonna add our patties once the pan is hot and cook them for about two to three minutes on each side. Let's give these a flip real quick. We're looking for about 135 degrees Fahrenheit in the center, and that's how we'll know that the patties are about medium rare and that we can take them off the heat. Now that we're done cooking the hamburger, let's make our rice patties. We are going to make balls of rice a little smaller than the patties and flatten them out and then toss them onto our oiled pan. If you find the rice sticking to your hands, wet them a little bit and then the rice will stop sticking. We're going to brush on a little bit of soy sauce to the rice patties as they're cooking and what this is going to do is going to give it a little bit more umami and also give it a nice brown color from the soy sauce frying on top of the rice. Okay, so let's get back to those gravy spheres. So in the bowls we have gravy, our sodium alginate bath, and then two water baths, one for rinsing off the spheres and one for holding them after we've rinsed them off. Now I don't want to get too in depth into the science of how this works, but basically the calcium lactate that we added at the beginning of the video 
reacts with the sodium alginate in the water, creating a thin, transparent membrane, and this holds the gravy in place and gives it its shape. The reason we needed to keep the gravy cold was because what I found out, when he tried to scoop up the gravy and add it to the sodium alginate bath while it was liquid, it would kind of just float on the top and never form a ball. So this way, since it's kind of solid, because it's cold and it's kind of like congealed, it'll keep its shape and then when we take it through the bath and put it in the water, it'll kind of like thaw back to normal liquid, kind of to room temperature, and then it'll be a gravy sphere that's full of liquid instead of a solid. Last is plating. It's pretty straightforward. You just put a rice patty on the plate, a hamburger on top of that, and you try your best to balance some of the gravy spheres. It was really hard for me to do so. I found that using smaller ones was actually easier. Then you take a cured egg yolk and shave some of that over the entire thing. And then I take the top with a little bit of scallions just to create a little bit of color in the dish. So there you have it. That's my take on the loco moco. You got your gravy, you got your hamburger, you got your rice and your egg. It looks a little different than normal, but it's still pretty good. And it looks really, really cool. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Leave a like, maybe subscribe, I'll leave that up to you, and see you guys next video.